Out in the depths of space, where stars are born in clusters and galaxies stretch for millions of light years, lies a fascinating truth. Many of the stars we see in the night sky aren't alone. In fact, a significant portion, perhaps even most, exist in pairs. These are binary stars, two suns locked in a gravitational dance orbiting around a shared center of mass known as the Barry Center. This cosmic waltz can be subtle or violent, peaceful or cataclysmic, depending on the distance, mass, and nature of the stars involved. Some binaries orbit each other gently over centuries, separated by vast distances. Others whirl tightly, revolving in just days, so close that their outer atmospheres can begin to mingle. In these close binaries, the gravitational pull of one star can siphon material from its companion, a process known as mass transfer. It's a quiet theft that can radically alter the fate of both stars. Sometimes the smaller star swells into a red giant, expanding beyond its limits until gas begins to spill into the stronger gravity well of its neighbor. This new influx of matter can cause the recipient star to burn hotter and brighter, rejuvenating it. But too much mass, too fast, and disaster looms. A white dwarf, what remains of a once normal star, can grow unstable if it accumulates more mass than it can handle. It may ignite in a sudden thermonuclear explosion, a type IA supernova, so bright it can outshine an entire galaxy for a time. In other scenarios, binary stars spiral ever closer, driven together by the invisible tug of gravitational waves. When they finally collide, the result is spectacular. A burst of light ripples through the fabric of space-time and the birth of a new, more massive star, or a black hole. Binary stars aren't just curiosities. They serve as cosmic laboratories. Their interactions reveal the secrets of stellar evolution, mass, and luminosity. Astronomers use them to measure stellar masses and understand life cycles. And every time we see a flickering or brightening star, we must ask, is it alone? Or is it dancing with a hidden partner, locked in a gravitational embrace that's shaping the very story of its life?